what's going on everybody how you doing bsg bringing you another grand cross video um this is a really quick video nothing too crazy we got a few things happening next week on the jp side of the game looks like captain melly is pretty much all but confirmed there's even an artwork from my boy this is, looks really good like this is actually a really fire artwork it's it's been a minute since we've seen a new captain melly artwork and it looks sick it looks really really fire so i'm actually pretty excited for this um we do have a little bit more info on what it's looking like for the banner it's going to be a step up banner which is good because you know it's the 30 gem and then the one gem multi so that's good but um it, it's not like i don't think he's going to be a must summon unit we'll see we'll see he's not a ragnarok you know i don't think he's just a base captain melly so it's a little weird uh with the scheduling but it, it's fine and then there's going to be a 600 gem banner for ragnarok frere this is not freya this is frere so i just want to make that clear this is not gonna be the you know the big booba is uh blonde haired lady that we've seen in the trailer i believe it's going to be the fairy that was um I don't know if she was a fairy, but, you know, it's going to be the, the the girl that King saw within the cage that's trapped. So, interesting stuff we got going on with this um, with this update that will be coming out. I like it. I really like it because Captain Melly could get a buff, which I really think he's going to because they buffed Bond with Ragnarok. He was a brawler Bond. He got buffed. They buffed the old Slime Clab units. So, I'm assuming that they're going to buff the Captain Melly because it doesn't make any any sense why they wouldn't right doesn't make any sense so they probably will buff captain melly's stats we'll see how good though that's that's the big thing we'll see what they'll do to his stats now obviously at this point in the game my boy melly it doesn't i don't really think it matters for the old units unfortunately because they are so old literally start the game units right so we got base captain melee right here even if they buffed his stats to modern day i i just don't know if it'll help him too much because no one's really gonna use him you know what i mean he doesn't have too many good skills he has his base attack which does nothing but just attack which can be good i'm not gonna lie the multiplier is very very high so they give him a decent sized attack boost to his stat that like he could be good like he, he actually could be useful they give him good pierce they give him good crit chance like he could he, he'd be solid the only thing is i don't know how they're gonna do this because w the way he works is the more hp he loses the higher his crit chance so like <laughs> this skill right here is it's pretty pretty strong you guys already know how strong that is so i don't know what they're gonna do for like I have no idea what they're gonna do but the, his crit resistance and crit defense definitely need to be like at least 50 at least his life still is fine no, no one really cares about recovery rate too much uh regen no one really cares too much about that either uh but yeah his his crit chance is probably gonna be buffed to maybe like i could see it being buffed to 50 that's pretty like that'd be pretty solid um and, and the way his passive works is it's on his diminished hp so we don't it's not like you can just calculate that right off the bat right it's not like oh he gets 50 percent. no it's it's literally ratioed so we can't just calculate it but yeah they could give him a boost to his crit chance don't know about his crit damage hmm i don't know about his crit damage that is one thing but yeah his first skill if they buff the attack like his base attack they buff his crit chance yeah he could be good like he actually could be good the <laughs> um the halloween melee like they <laughs> like they would have to revamp his passive they would have to revamp his skip they would have to just change the unit even if he gets buffed there's no making this unit good like there's there's actually no, no making this unit good because even if they buff his crit chance to like 50 or 55 it, it doesn't matter because he's still not going to crit <laughs> so it genuinely doesn't matter what they do to this unit he's just all around bad unfortunate but what it is what it is uh but yeah i definitely could see it right and then we got some new info on chandler as well just his costume nothing really that crazy he's gonna get two costume sets so it is unlikely he'll be a uh it is likely he won't be a festival unit right which i didn't expect him to to be completely honest i just thought he was gonna be a regular side unit for like the festival unit but it seems like yeah he's just gonna be a regular unit <laughs> he's literally just gonna be a regular unit which is cool um hopefully we get demon kusak too because demon kusak would be good you know kusak himself is actually pretty solid i like him but it would be nice if we could see the actual like demon team get buffed 
with Assault Melly or Trader Melly, whatever. It'd be nice if we could see some demons going on, you know, riding around, except for Trader Melly, because Trader Melly's everywhere. But um, yeah, if you guys don't know, this this is what his skills are looking like. He's legitimately Rimuru with his skills. Like he he actually is just Rimuru. His ultimate is a weak point single target, and then his his passive is really good actually. His passive is like very very strong. So basically. If everyone is a demon or a uh, commandment, he increases all allies pierce by 40%. So Trader Melly's getting a buff to his pierce card, which is nice. And then, you know, if giving extra pierce to units. And then this is what, like, this is what is interesting. Increases damage dealt by demon race or unit with commandments by 15% for each debuff. Like, that is pretty interesting. So... I don't know. Like, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, really, the only one that's debuffing on the demon team that's relevant is, yeah, is, is Assault Melee. Trader Melee doesn't debuff. So, uh, besides his ult, he doesn't debuff. So, it doesn't matter, right? He, this new Chandler has Infect, but that's only one. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But I just want to get the uh, get this video out there to let you guys know that Tra or, uh, Captain Melly does have a new artwork. Looks sick. And then we also have some info on Chandler. But, yeah, we'll see what happens next week on JP. A lot of stuff that's going to be happening. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you all later.